a cup of the word, we're in Job chapter 35, and Elihu continues, and he specifically turns to Job at this point. He says, Job, you have said that you're more righteous than God. That's wrong. It's wrong all over, in every way, and I don't care how much you've suffered, that statement is wrong. And he's going to talk about, look, God is higher than you in the same way that the God who made the clouds. You look at the clouds, the clouds are higher than you. So if the clouds are higher than you, the one who made those clouds are definitely higher than you. And he's going to make an interesting point that really, whether we're righteous or whether we're wicked, that's, that really is about us. In other words, you, you, when you're righteous, you can't ever give God anything by being righteous that would change his world. In the same way that when we're wicked down here on earth, you can't, the wicked can't ever do anything to ever change God either. So if you're wicked, you're wicked for you. And if you're righteous, you're righteous for you. So stop making it about him and you just focus on you. And then he's going to make another interesting point. As we look at our wickedness, whenever somebody does something wrong, when people do the wrong thing, God doesn't immediately punish them for doing the wrong thing. Sometimes he lets them get away with it for a while. He lets them have their good days for a while before rendering his verdict and judgment and saying, nope, now it stops. Well, if it's true that when somebody's wicked, they don't get punishment right away, is it not also true that when you're righteous, you may not get vindication right away either? You, the judgment's been brought to God. The case has been brought before Him. Now you've got to wait for His verdict. It's in His time, not our time. So Job, it's not fair for us to take one side and be so thankful that God waits and He doesn't punish us immediately and zap us from heaven when He sees us sin. We can't on one hand be happy with that, but then on the other hand be upset when we have to wait for vindication and joy when we do the right thing. That's your Daily Cup, and we'll see you tomorrow.